Hello, Todd Long, MyRealEstateAgentCoach.com. Hope you're having a fantastic day. I'm asked from time to time from new agents in the business how to organize a tour for buyers. And I wanted to go through that with you real quick today. First thing I want to tell you is I would suggest that if you're going out with buyers that you limit your tour to seven to eight properties in a day. That seems to be about the sweet spot of properties they can actually remember. I would also suggest you give them a copy of the customer form of your MLS sheet or something with the information about the property and the photos of the property and have them write on each one of the properties as you visit the property, the things they liked about that property and rank them as far as one, two, three, and their top three. I've even, if I'm going over seven or eight properties in a day, done this where I give them the property MLS sheet as we get to the property, but when we get to the fourth property, I say, okay, I want you to keep the top three properties in your hand all day today. So give me one of the properties back that isn't in your top three. Now that we're at the fourth house, what are your top three? Give me one back. At the fifth house, give me one back. At the sixth house, give me one back. That way at the end of the day, they always have their top three houses in their hand. Well, let me show how, you, how I actually organize a tour. I'm going to switch over here to my MLS system. And let's say these are the seven houses that we want to actually go see this day. In our MLS system, we have a sorting feature, and this tells us what number they are in over here on this left-hand side. So I would usually start from one end and kind of work my way down. So number seven here, I'm going to uncheck all of those. Number seven, I'm going to move up to the number one spot. And then this number three, I'm going to move it up to the number two spot. That one's number seven. I'm going to move it itself up. So as you can see, we just kind of put those in the proper order. Number six, I'm going to move it up. And we're probably going to Travel down here to number five, which is already there. Great. Number seven. Actually, I probably would do this loop right here. So number six and number seven, those are in the proper order. So that is the tour that I'm going to organize. Then when I go over to my details tab, they are in the proper order, one through seven on this page. So we go back and look at number one. That was our first property that we are going to start with. I would then print out those sheets and then across the top here I would write the time that I'm going to go. So for example, let's go back off of the screen share here. All right. So on the top of this page, I've written 3 to 4 o'clock. The next one, I would organize and put 3.30 to 4.30, because I know how long it's going to take to move between these properties based on looking at the map. If I go back and look at my results page, I know that I can get from number one over here to the next one in line, which actually I messed that up for you, but you get the idea. I would actually move number four up. I would actually move number four up into that number two slot. I know how long it's going to take to get from number one to number two. I'm going to leave myself about 15 to 20 minutes at the house, and then I'm going to have 15 minutes or so to drive. I'm going to have 15 to 20 minutes there, and it's going to take me maybe five minutes to get there, maybe five minutes to get there, and that's how I'm going to organize my tour. I'm going to give myself an hour in the, the block, so if we start at 1 o'clock, I'll be scheduling this one from 1 to 2, then I would say I'm going to stay there for 15 minutes, I'm going to schedule that one from 1.15 to 2.15, give myself 15 minutes there, probably schedule this one from 
1.30 to 2.30. And I scheduled that one from 1.30 to 2.30 also because it's in the same neighborhood. And I'm going to schedule this one from 2 to 3 o'clock. Schedule this one from 2.30 to 3.30. And this one from probably 2.45 to 3.45. It gives me enough time to travel between and give me about 15 minutes at each house. Sometimes it's shorter at each house, sometimes it's longer at each house, but you're just, you, that's why you're giving your stuff a one hour time frame between each house. I hope that is helpful. Again, Todd Long, MyRealEstateAgentCoach.com. Please let me know if there's anything I can do to help you in your real estate business. Have a great week.